To a gamer, there are few things more exciting than a good old-fashioned secret to dig up. That moment of discovery, the realization, the sense of gratification, instant serotonin every single time. Whether they be hidden characters, game modes, or just fun little easter eggs, a well-hidden secret can be the thing that elevates an otherwise average game into a truly memorable experience. And the more well-hidden, the better, right? Well, not always. Sometimes game designers get a bit too carried away with hiding their secrets, burying them under so many layers of confusing puzzles and bizarre clues that they end up being harder to find than my car keys when I'm already late for work. Oftentimes nowadays, with the advent of things like data mining and the internet, it takes little more than a Google search to learn about everything a game is hiding. Yet somehow, the games that we're going to be talking about today featured hidden secrets that often took not just months, but years for players to finally unravel. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 video game secrets that were a little too secret. Number 10. Doom 2 how wild is it that a speedrunner can beat Super Metroid and gather every single item in less than an hour? Well, just wait until I tell you how long it took players to do the same in Doom 2. The second game in the classic shooter series featured a bevy of secrets scattered across its levels. In level 15, one of those secrets is a hidden teleporter, but due to a programming oversight, the game doesn't register the secret as being found when the player steps on it. Because of this, it was actually impossible to reach 100% completion in Doom 2 without using cheats. That changed in August 2018, when a player known as Zero Master uploaded a gameplay video showing that the secret could in fact be achieved through normal means. All one had to do was lure a specific enemy down to the area in question and deliberately get hit in such a way that it knocked the player back into the secret area, causing the game to mark it as found. For his trouble, Zero Master received a personal congratulations from John Romero and recognition as the first person to achieve true 100% completion of Doom after 24 years. Someone was probably able to shave a few seconds off the record soon after that though, but you know, well done! Number 9. The Legend of Zelda – A Link to the Past When most magazines hold a contest, you might enter in the hopes of winning a bit of free swag. When the official magazine of Nintendo holds a contest, the prizes can get truly legendary. You, see, you know, because like the name of the game with the green boy in. In 1990, Nintendo Power magazine held a contest that asked players to send in a picture of the secret boss, Warmech, in Final Fantasy. The grand prize winner would have their name featured in an upcoming Nintendo game, though it was never said which game that would be. Turns out, that game would be The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, and the name of the winner, Chris Houlihan, could be found in a hidden room containing piles of money and a sign asking the player to keep this room a secret. Many players stumbled across this room by pure chance, but no one could actually work out how to do it. Fast forward two years later, and it was ultimately discovered that the room was a programming failsafe that would be loaded when the player tried to enter an area with glitched or corrupted location data. It also turned out that Chris's name only appeared in the North American SNES version and was removed in all later releases. Don't worry though, Chris, it'll always be your room to me. Number 8. Near Automata the Nier franchise is well known for its enthralling, if slightly convoluted, stories with several different possible endings that often require multiple playthroughs in order to understand the full narrative, and Nier Automata was no different. Keeping the spoilers to a minimum, in order to achieve Nier Automata's ultimate true ending, the player normally has to beat the game at least three times. We say normally because almost four years after the game's release, a modder by the name of Lance McDonald found an odd string of text while poking around in the game's files. Investigating further, McDonald discovered that the text was tied to a secret code. By standing between two barrels after defeating the game's first boss, holding the R2 button and pressing up, down, up, right, left, square, circle, triangle, then X, the player can immediately jump straight to the game's final ending. After sharing his findings on Twitter, Yoko Taro, the director of the game, responded to McDonald's findings and publicly credited him for finding the final secret hidden within Nier Automata. Imagine being able to skip past 99% of a game that you're playing. Near Automata, more like nearly automatic. <laughs> yeah, got him. Number 7. Wave Race Blue Storm Wave Race is a bit of a forgotten gem in Nintendo's portfolio. The series spans three games, all of which performed well critically and commercially, yet we haven't seen a new installment since the release of Blue Storm in 2001. Despite its dormancy, the series made waves again. <laughs> in September 2010, when a new secret was discovered in Blue Storm by Raoul Duke, a user on the NeoGAF forums. To activate it, the player simply has to put in a variation of the classic Konami code on the audio settings screen. Oh, Konami code, where would gaming be without you? 
However, players might not be so grateful when they realise what they've just unlocked. Upon starting a race as Ryota Hayami, the player will be greeted not by the cheerful tones of their pit crew, but by some sarcastic bloke who seems more interested in insulting the player's driving with such barbs as, your wins are like diamonds, kid, very rare, and you must have a sixth sense, because there's no sign of the other five. I suppose this could come in handy if you're the sort of person who's motivated by negative reinforcement, though. Oh, and this code also replaces the normal turbo boost sound effect with a clip of a woman making cat noises. You know, if that's of any interest to you. Number 6. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain it's hard for gamers to trust each other, as anyone who grew up playing split-screen multiplayer with a sibling will tell you. So, a game that asks players to set aside their differences while competing against each other sounds like an exercise in futility. Metal Gear Solid V included an online multiplayer element that allowed players to build and defend their own bases while attempting to infiltrate those of their rivals to steal resources, including any nuclear weapons those players had stockpiled. Shortly after launch, it was discovered that the game contained a secret ending that could be unlocked only if complete nuclear disarmament was achieved, meaning that all players would have to give up their nukes. To ease the boredom of quarantine, in 2020 a group dubbed the Anti-Nuke Gang took up the task of forcibly disarming all nukes on the PS3 version of the game, and by that summer, the mad lads had actually done it, finally triggering the cutscene fair and square. It's enough to make one believe in world peace. Except it turned out their methods weren't quite fair or square, as the gang had enlisted a hacker to trick the game's servers into thinking disarmament had been achieved, when in reality, it hadn't. It really says a lot about the futility of war. Or something like that. Number 5. Silent Hill 2 the Silent Hill games are creepy, tense, and atmospheric, often deliberately restricting the player's agency and resources in order to build feelings of helplessness and fear. They are also, on occasion, absolutely bonkers. Silent Hill 2, considered the peak of the series by many critics, features numerous endings that can be achieved based on the player's choices throughout the game. This even includes possible joke endings, one of which reveals that the true puppet master behind all the insidious events that have transpired was a dog and somehow it gets even crazier. In 2018, 17 years after the game was first released, a Twitter user named Punk7890 discovered that after reaching the appropriately named Dog Ending, two new abilities are unlocked for the player to use, though seemingly only in the PS2 version. Firstly, by pressing Start, Square, L2 and L3 all at once, the player can turn on a minimap to help navigate their surroundings. Nifty. Additionally, by pressing L1, L2 and L3 while holding left on both analog sticks and the D-pad, the player can open up the save menu any time during the game. Using these tricks might detract a bit from the game's tension and atmosphere, but have you seen what that dog put us through? We need all the bloody hell we can get! Number 4. Street Fighter Alpha 2 Secret characters in fighting games are a dime a dozen. Mortal Kombat had Reptile, Tekken had Devil Jin, Fighting Vipers had Pepsi Man, yes, really, and of course, Street Fighter had Akuma. First appearing as a hidden boss in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the murderous fighter known as Akuma quickly became a fan favourite, so it's really no surprise that he was part of the cast in Street Fighter Alpha 2 as well. What was a surprise was that there was an even more powerful version of Akuma lurking within the game. Known as Shin Akuma, this version of the character was faster, stronger, and had slightly different coloured clothes, which we all know is a sure sign that someone's not to be messed with. Thought to only be found in the PlayStation and Sega Saturn versions of the game, in 2021 it was discovered that Shin Akuma is also playable in the SNES version. To unlock him, players must first clear arcade mode with a high score of 50,000 points or more under the initials K-A-J, at which point the overpowered character will become available to use for pummeling your unsuspecting friends. Meanwhile, I'm still here trying to work out how to unlock Master Chief in Super Smash Bros. I know he's in there, damn it! Number 3. Futurama Good news, everyone! Do you like my impression? It was good, wasn't it? Futurama, the often cancelled and often revived animated sci-fi comedy series, had quite a bit to say about video games over its 10 plus seasons, so it was time to put their money where their mouth was when the show got its own tie-in game in 2003. The game got mixed reviews, averaging a 59 on Metacritic for its PS2 version and a 58 on Xbox, but it received praise for its humour and cutscenes. One thing that left players stumped, however, was the game's hidden easter egg, an elusive secret hinted at in the game's code but never actually discovered. It wasn't until 2019 that the proper method was finally worked out, involving a completely random series of events, including entering and then leaving a room, breaking open a fire extinguisher but not taking it, and having exactly $7 in your inventory. 
Once all this is done, it reveals an Easter egg. A literal giant Easter egg that does typical Easter egg things like wobble when you hit it with a hammer. A bit anticlimactic to be sure, but this breakthrough led to the discovery of even more secrets hidden in the game, including references to Super Mario and the infamous All Your Base meme. Classic. Number 2. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent the fourth main game in the Splinter Cell series was also the second to feature a two-player co-op side campaign with unique missions. But just how unique are these missions? Well, four years after the game's release, a video was uploaded to Vimeo by Julian Donay and Simon LaSalle, two employees of Ubisoft, that revealed a secret mission in Double Agent's co-op campaign. Wait, if the game's called Double Agent but there's two players, does that make them quadruple agents? Get back to us, Ubisoft, we want to know. Uh, anyway, uh, during the second mission of the campaign, players find a large gold token. Inserting the token into a vending machine will release a talking baby seal named Muffin who asks the players to rescue their siblings Pepperoni, Vanilla, Cookie and Buddy. Once all five seals are safe, they'll bid farewell to the players before returning to their home planet. Oh yes, they were actually talking baby alien seals. How could I forget? They were from space. LaSalle expressed disappointment that no one had discovered the mission up to that point, and it's a huge shame, because what's cuter than adorable talking baby alien seals? Are we absolutely sure nobody didn't mishear Navy Seals and get the wrong idea? Number 1. Super Punch-Out If you were a kid who played Super Punch-Out when it was new, you could have grown up, gotten married, had children and seen them start school before you ever found out the game had multiplayer. When Punch-Out! was rebooted for the Wii in 2009, it was set to feature a versus mode believed to be a first for the series at the time. However, this turned out not to be true, as in August 2022, Unlisted Cheats, a Twitter account focused on discovering hidden video game content, revealed the existence of a secret versus mode in Super Punch-Out. By holding down certain buttons on a controller on the main menu, players will be taken to a screen where they can freely choose any of the game's 16 pixelated pugilists to fight against. By holding another combination as the bout begins, the chosen boxer will be controlled by Player 2. This essentially unlocks a head-to-head -head versus mode, though since Player 1 is forced to play as the game's shrimpy protagonist, these fights are likely to be rather one-sided affairs. Despite belief that the mode was a leftover debug feature, it's been preserved in all versions of Super Punch-Out, including its release on the Nintendo Switch for any modern-day players interested in getting their virtual faces rearranged. Go on, have a try.